In Old Town Friday, crime tape zigzagged across the street, blocking part of Northwest 3rd Avenue at West Burnside as police investigated a deadly stabbing. You know, noteworthy thing is this happened in broad daylight. It was right in the middle of the day, right at 1130, right before lunch, so a lot of people around. After gathering evidence, officers detained a suspect found just a couple of blocks away. Late Friday night, Portland police announced they arrested and charged 50-year-old Dorian Cannon with murder. Anytime we have, uh, you know, violence uh, on our streets, it's concerning to us. Cannon's history of previous charges dates back to 2004 in Oregon. The most recent, an arrest just this week for disorderly conduct in Clackamas County. Back in 2020, he served time for a biased crime charge after police say he used hate speech and threatened a TriMet driver with a knife. Documents also reveal the suspect to be homeless with his mental fitness called into question by the court. Police have not released the name of the victim. It's a loss of life, so it's a tragedy. And uh, we hate to see that, but um, unfortunately, it's a sign of the times that we're experiencing down here in Old Town. The stabbing happened right outside Union Gospel Mission, where Jason Christensen is the executive director. He says he's seen an increased police presence in this area, which he's grateful for. But he says problems Persist. The problem really comes down to is the open air drug use and drug trafficking is really is, is what's happening. 98% of our homeless guests are good people who just want to take care and get themselves fed, get some clothes, what they need, and they mind their own business. They're actually pretty good at keeping the peace around here, but it's, it's the drug uses that's going on that's causing the problems down here. Despite this tragic situation, Christensen stands by Old Town and says the people involved with Union Gospel Mission take pride in being residents of this neighborhood. He hopes tragic and shocking incidents like this don't keep people from coming downtown or to Old Town and helping out those in need. David.